What's going on, folks? Can you see me yet? Can you, oh, my light's turned off. How's it going, folks? Welcome back. Shoo! We are going to do some duck hunting today. Starting the day off, we're at the farm. Um, but you can see, can, let, let me get a shot of this hoodie here real quick. We gotta show the folks what's going on. I just had to show you guys this hoodie. This is new hoodie. Link down below. Old school hoodie just dropped. What was that funny? There was nothing yeah. on the back. Well, I, I was just showing the camel pattern. Oh, uh, you know? you're gonna shake your ass. I was thinking about it. That's for that's for later today. It's too early. You can't do that at 5:30. You're crazy. Anyway, this hoodie will be linked down below. If you guys want to go check it out, brand new thermal old school camo hoodie. My all time favorite hoodie. It is finally in stock and ready to rock and roll. So link down below, use promo code FLAIR to get yourself 10% off or any other duck stuff. We've got calls, seasoning, other warm gear, coats, vests. You wearing a vest? Look at that vest. That's a nice thermal vest. Coats, all that stuff. So there'll be linked down below, but we are going to be hunting the infamous beaver dam. We have no idea if it's going to work, but the beavers have dammed up so much to where they've pulled up a bunch of water and we have seen ducks there before, but not recently, not in the last like week or so. So we're going to go out there. We got to get in the mule. It's kind of a far drive, it's like seven miles in the mule. I mean, we're gonna go try to find some spots to set out, but it's like a, it's a very thick timber hunt. Like I've never really timber hunted before. I mean, I've kind of done it, but not really. This is probably as close as I'm gonna get to where we're gonna be sitting kind of by the beaver dam timber and hopefully have some ducks come right on top of us and land and type thing. We don't have the, the pup today just because I wasn't sure how deep the water is or where we're gonna be. My guess is it's gonna be so deep, we're not gonna be able to get in and I'm like, dang, imagine if I brought Lucy. But since we had hunted before, I wanna make sure that that if we do take her somewhere that she's gonna be comfortable, I have all the supplies for her to have a good time. So we didn't bring her today, Banjo's the dog today. You guys stay tuned. Well folks, we got out here, got the decoy set up. We've got the spread going. You guys can see one spinner, a bunch of decoys here. This is a lot more water than we had expected. The beavers flooded this whole little section here. And then oh, this, I'll show you where we're sitting. We're sitting on this side. We got Uncle Banjo. Hey, how's it going? Sitting on an island. Look at that island right there. So dry island decoys we just had a drake mallard land on that point probably out of shooting range if that happens we'll move to the grass and shoot that way or we could the thing is you can pretty much walk the beaver dam is super deep over there but right here this is like backfield like you can see there's corn stalks so this is supposed to be plantable and kyle couldn't plant it so we're going to try to duck hunt this as soon as we get our duck hunt fix trap the beavers will the beaver dam that's the objective not for today that's long term so you guys can look forward to that so anyways the decoys are out we've got some time a nice timber hunt. I mean, if you can see right behind us, all this timber here. They're gonna be piling down in the timber right here. This is gonna be good. This is the first time I've really done like a, a sit like this. Very, very isolated pocket of water. We already had one Drake come in, so that's a good time. So, see you guys at shooting line. Look at that guy. We got both of them. Andrew shot the one on the right and I shot the one on the left. That was good. I just about died. I tried chasing the duck. We had him down, but he was, uh, oh God. Really? He just landed. All right, well, we just got that guy. Terrible at shooting on that guy. He was, it was one of those so close, you're just like, Ex making excuses, but get him, Banjo. Finish him off. He done. Shoo! All right, should I try? I gotta try to. Dude, I don't know if I can cross that. That was deep. Is I... that wind gonna blow him towards us or not? Nah. Oh. He ain't going nowhere. We would. We just need to go around on the dam. I mean, I can just. I'll. I'll inch my way. I'm assuming this creek's not shallow though. I went that way and I fell. Like I look, if there wasn't a tree, dead. Like not dead, but would have been covered in water. Like I just went, boom, and I grabbed my tree and I pulled myself back up and got back on the troy. Why don't we just go? We'll run around the beaver dam. He's dead. He's sitting there. Let's get back to the to the hide yeah. here. What was he? Uh, I think it's Telio. Banjo got the old Telio. That's three for me, Poppy. Not sharpshooter McGee today, boys. I mean, we're killing ducks, but man, we're going through some shells. Oh, Banjo Woo! got him. That one's how you go. Two more down. Banjo, 
You got four. I'm at four and you're at three? Yeah. Oh, right here, right here. Dude, we need to move. We're too far back. We're, we have a good hide, but yeah. they're, they're landing in that creek. We need to, we need, we're gonna make a move real quick. Andrew's up to five. I didn't know where to look. Uh, dude, that, that was, was unbelievable, cool. bro. New favorite spot, right? This here. is my new favorite we're spot. Be here a lot. almost limited. I've got two more to go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this easy and I'm gonna go stand out there and let's pick off the rest of our limit. Wow. Dude, we could have shot those two. We waited for the groups. Yeah. They just they landed just a little far. Bunch of gaddies, dude. <laughs> this spot is fire, that was dude. Awesome. Dude. We just waited and just it whoosh. Ooh. All right, so go. We're gonna grab those birds. Makes advantages up to five. I'm up to four. And uh, if we're further out, we can shoot them before they land. We're just a little far. They're pushing that way. So we're gonna go get these birds and stick out. There's one right in front. It's that teal circles. Oh, dude, he just banked right back. <laughs> so our new strategy is this: sit on your butt in the creek like this. Cause they keep landing right in front of us. Let's see if this works. We only need three more and pool jet. You gotta shoot your limit too, guy. Yep. Oh, damn. Got him, son. Banjo, we're tied now. Yeah, we are. That's a beauty. Fully plumed out. Green wing. He solo dove in here, and Banjo let me have at it. My accuracy's still off. Like, I poofed him, but second shot. I don't think I'm leaning him quite enough. I'm underestimating their abilities. Look at that. Beautiful little duck. I've got five. Banjo's got five. Each need one more, and then they're still flying. Pool jet. Pool jet's got to knock a few down. So far, it's, it's a really good spot, but I think the wind. If we had wind flipped, I think we'd be sitting better. They just, for some reason, we can't seem to sit where they're landing. They're just a little far out, or, or they're trying to land in the big creek, which you can shoot them, but it's so deep, it's hard to retrieve them. So we're, we've shot a couple. We're letting them float down the creek. It gets shallower up there. Hopefully the wind, the wind's going right down the creek. We should have them float up. Otherwise, let's go get Lucy, and she'll have to come bring them back, or Banjo swimming, one of the two. That's the old limit for me, Rick. Eww. I'm done, though. Pull jet, you're up. All right, pull jet. Oh. I passed the torch. Banjo needs one. Let's go find this bird. And uh, if one flies over, pull jet or banjo can take a whack at it. All right, where's numero six at? He's around here somewhere, I reckon. He didn't done plopped in here somewhere. Oh, he's right here. Here we go. I thought he, I thought he was, I thought he landed in the grass a little bit more. Yo, Gaddy McFatty. Let's go, baby. What up, Rick? How you doing? Eww. Take the old Gaddy. That's number six. I'm limited. We've had a lot of gaddies, couple of widgets, and teal. I've seen some alardas as well, but let's, let's go ahead and get back and get pool jet on some ducks. Look at this though. Is this not like the coolest scenery? Timber hunt, beaver dam, cloudy overcast. This is, manager, I think we need to do a photo shoot for your OnlyFans right now. Take them. Angel's limited. I'm limited. Tealio. Green wing? Yeah, you got, cool. the, old, you got the old teal. Whiffed. Oh yeah. Well, I didn't want, I didn't, Team Whiff. I didn't want to keep going hey, you, dual wield or you, 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 yeah, Kimbo. Oh, you guys, exactly, yeah. Wow. We we literally sat here for 30 minutes with nothing. They came out of nowhere. I, it was hard to call it. I should have called it sooner. Do, yeah. I was waiting. I should have called it sooner because I think you guys would have. There's one right now. I should have called that sooner. You guys should have popped those two yeah, and then probably. went to the water and pool jet could have shot another one. That one was still definitely in range. I missed and then changed yeah. birds. Banjo's limited though. He's toast. He's out. He's outie. And uh, pool jet, you, you still got six? Yeah. Yeah, on those, I would say like 
I didn't know which one to go yeah, for. Yeah, it, it, it was, was kind of weird. Which I one should, did you shoot at first? The uh, right one, well, right? We aimed at the same one, yeah. and then you shot, so I just went to the other one that was flying up that way. Gosh, yeah. Yeah, we sat here for 30 minutes and literally saw nothing, and even Banjo was like, should we leave? And I was like, ah, I mean, it's not even 8 o'clock. We literally, I shot my limit in 40 minutes. Yeah. Something like that, yeah. 40 minutes, it wasn't too bad. Um, but that was a nice big group. If we, again, they're, they're just, they're, they're a hair out. Like, those right there were killable, but when they're circling, a lot of times, you know, you can kill them as they pass. We don't have to wait for them to land or even be hovering, but we need to be 20 yards out when they when they circle or too far out. We really need to be over there, but this is like our only cover is this island with these trees above us. So we're kind of tempted to uh, build a blind or put something out here where we can get a little bit closer to the birds because it just, they, they can't circle with these trees. So what they do is they circle wide and on their inside turn, they're just on the edge of the decoys. So you just, you they basically have to land, which is fine. You just get less opportunities to shoot. So anyways, Banjo's limited. I'm limited. We'll sit here for a little bit. Maybe we can get a couple more groups, but but now it's one of those deals. Like if one lands and there's a big group, just shoot the one, you know, just yeah. keep picking apart your limit. I was trying to get a group in so Pulljack could, could wham bam them, but it's just, it's hard. It seems like one will land, two will land, and then the group takes time. And by the time the group lands, the two got up and it, mm -hmm. it just kind of like, they don't, if I'm, I'm, I'm blabbering, but that's pretty much what's going on right now. Anyways, and Banjo, is this calling stock? Yeah, it'll be stock. Hey, this call is in stock. You want to hear it? <laughs> Sounds decent. I'm not the greatest caller in the world, but hey, obviously it's working. I mean, the ducks you are. Give it a try, banjo. Ba banjo, banjo, give it a two. You're pretty good. At it. I'm more of a... Oh really? I've been working on the feeder call. For some reason, I just can't go. I can't do it, but it's like I can get a little bit. I do talk fast. I, I like can't keep it going. Yeah, you like stops. <laughs> It doesn't sound bad. I mean, the ducks, today. we've been we've been killing them, but it's in stock. This is a, a brand new ducks call this year, so if you guys want to check it out, you can. We also have a old goose call. Let's see if I can do the one-hander. <laughs> doesn't sound that great one-handed, but anyways, that's all we got going on. Also, this hoodie that I talked about is only available for 48 hours. Forgot to mention that this morning. It's available 48 hours, and then we're we're done so with it. We're doing a limited run, trying it out, so if you guys like the old-school camo, then uh, you guys can click the link down below and check it out, but we're going to hope Pool Jack can... At least fire a couple more rounds at some of these little Tweety birds flying around. Not actually, I'm talking ducks, not Tweety birds. We're not shooting Tweeties, but what do you, if you could pick any duck right now? What what species or? Oh, I don't care. You just I just want to shoot something. If it has feathers, it's toast. Sure. Got it. Shoot this one. Shoot him. There you go. Shoot again. You got him. Woo. You got one, baby. Good there shot. He's, man. He's out Good shot, there. Rick. Wow. That was far. Well, we were we were just kind of walking around. We're scouting to see if we wanted to... Hey, oh, God, Rick. Hang on, hang on, hang on. These ducks are still fine. They're still fine. Shoot those low ones. Wait. Hang on. See him? See him? Yep, 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 yep. Don't shoot Banjo. I know. Oh. Banjo, scare him. Yeah! Huh? <laughs> Bro, what's going on? I'll right shoot him. Huh? Stand yeah! Up, stand, up, stand up. He's getting ready to fly. There you go. Dude! Wow, that was a cool group. What? Came in banjo, what what happened here, dude? We could he couldn't shoot him. I was like, don't shoot banjo. But I was like, banjo, you you push him out and he'll come right and that was perfect. Good shooting, pool jet. You got three. Yeah. That's three gaddies. Dude, gaddies love like this no spot. Banjo. Yeah, he couldn't shoot banjo. Ban well, how's that creek doing? I don't know why he's over there to be honest. He's What's just, he he's just, he's, he's trying to find, he's trying to, he's gotta there's go a, back. we have one bird over there and some reason he's here. You're gonna have to go back. Yeah, I know, but I just wanna see if I can cross it. Oh, no, from here to here, probably not, no. So you could, so you could cross there if you absolutely had to. But I mean, you're really close to going over. Wow, dude, this place is incredible. This, I don't wanna blow up the dam now. I, we gotta keep this water here, at least for duck season. I am soaked though. I got a hole up here in my waders. Riff. All this soaking wet. I mean, I am just a damp boy right now. Well, let's go get your bird. Ew! Two Gaddy McFaddies. Look at the white Look how belly. White this guy is. Oh, there's a hole. Watch there. out, there's a hole there. Yeah. Look at that. He's really pretty. Yeah, that's that is a Gaddy though. That's white. I feel like you you normally see him like this. Mm -hmm. He's really white. Perfectly white. The old Gaddy baby. Shoo! Beauty. Good work. He got he got three neat. three Gaddies. So we're up to 15 ducks now, I think. Banjo still. I think Banjo will fill What's funny is, if, oh, what, what was that? Was that? It's like a hawk. That was yeah, you scared a hawk out or something. Hey, I'll take it. We're three away from 18, so that'd be 15, I think. Are you got you getting it figured out there, guy? In between my legs, it's like a 20 foot hole. Really? Yeah. You're straddling it. Come on, you got <laughs> it. You know, if you would have just stayed on the bank, we wouldn't have this problem. All right, so your bird's right there, Banjo. All right, right there. Right there. All right, well, we're gonna head back to the spot here. We're just. We're just sitting here. It's not even, it's probably about what, 8 a.m. now? Right this is, this is awesome. So anyways, stay tuned. 
So this is what Pool Jet got. You're gonna get one of them out today. Yeah, the real white guy. The uh, Gaddy McFaddy. That's a that's a nice guy. So he got three Gaddies. I got four Gaddies and two teal. My teal look good. Look at these little brown headed guys. I've already got one of these mounted, so I'm not gonna mount another one. And then Banjo got two teal, two widgeon. You're a big widge guy. I love widge. He loves he loves a good widge. Two widge and then two more Gaddies. So we've got a total of. Is that 15? 15 down on the ground. They just, they kind of stop flying. But we'll take it. This is our best big duck shoot of the year by far. Blue opener out of the water. Hunted a new spot, found the beaver dam, figured, hey, it's got a lot of water. Let's try it. And, uh, huh? Because I was here. We True. banjo luck. Banjo's, banjo's usually terrible luck. But for, for today, phew, we got a bunch. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these guys back. Banjo's got a special recipe he wants to share. And we're going to turn a couple of these into. What he wants to do, which is you leave the fat on and you do 422. Yep. You grill it. Still 422. You sear it. Four, si four minutes on the fat side. Four minutes on the fat side. Two, side, two, on the two minutes side. on the back side and then oven for oven. two minutes. Yep. So we're going to try that. A little bit different. This is more like a steak instead of jerky and stuff like that. And then the rest we're going to make into jerky um, because there's just there's so many of them. So we'll, we'll process it and uh, turn it into good old duck tree. So with that being said, see you guys back at the house. Shoo! Welcome back, folks. We're back home. This is what duck breasts look like when you pluck them. See these little hairs still on it? Yeah, those are gonna taste delicious. Pretty impossible to get all of them off. Uh, it takes a really long time, but we took the rest of them, uh, breasted them out without the fat. They're sitting in salt water right now. We're gonna turn those into jerky very soon, but that's not what today's episode is about. We are doing Banjo's signature series recipe here, which basic, Lucy, what do you think of his recipe? Buddy. You're gonna like it. But Lucy, come here, come here, buddy. You, know, you just take a front row seat, guy. Yeah. Just go ahead and sit. No, no, no. You gotta you go ahead and sit down. You gotta sit. Can you sit? Okay, you can watch. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. You just just watch. Just stay. Just watch. You're not gonna stay. Anyways, so this is what we've got: two teal, one, two, and one. This is probably the Gaddy. Was it the yeah, Gaddy? Yeah, Gaddy. So that way you get a little bit of both. Obviously, we've got to take these guys head to head like we always do. Most of the time, wild game wins, but that's it's a little different right now because you're getting a ton of flavor from that fat, lots of natural flavors. So you might want it to be a little bit more subtle with the uh, the all, all meat. So we're gonna go ahead. You gotta season how you work. Come this on, thing. come on, come on. You got it. You gotta season both sides, right? Yeah. You just tell me if I'm doing this incorrectly. This is your oh, that's, show. That's great. I'll flip them for G you. Give me a flip. So season the fat side, season the meat side, just like that. Dude, just a little. You smack that meat. And then take your wild game, same thing, cover it, there you go. Pack it in, give her the old flippy, go back over it. Just a nice even coat. Right. Boom. So you do is you take these guys over to a cold pan, put them fat side down, turn on what, medium high? Medium high. See, yeah, I already know. And uh, it'll it'll render some of the fat down so you don't put oil in it. And you're gonna sear it for four minutes. Then you're gonna flip it to the meat side for two minutes. Then you're gonna stick it in the oven at 450 for two more minutes. So that's the plan. Yep. Let's do it. Fat side down, right? Yes, sir. Okay, I gotta keep them all together. The wild game. It's gonna be a full pan, all meat. Going in, fat side down. It's gonna be a little mixture because once the fat starts going, it turns into liquid when you got the seasons going. But listen, you could put all meat in the wild game jar, mix it, and you're just getting better and better at that point. So medium high. One, two, three, four, about that right there. Four minutes, start the timer. Hey Siri, set a four minute timer. Hey, all you guys, you have a four minute timer too, you're welcome. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Give her the old flip ski. Ooh, that looks pretty good. Ooh, that one got crispy. Why, how is that such a difference? That's crazy. So that one looks good. Okay. Okay, not bad. Okay, none of them are severely burnt, but look at the difference. This is, this is an expensive stove top. This thing is not very even. Son of a gun. So two minutes. Yo. Flip it and then put, or wait, was it the wild game on these three? I bet that's what it was. It was. That's what it is. So the wild game gives it that little darker char color. Because there's no way that's that. a coincidence. No. There's no possible, not, no possibility. Yeah. I'll even rotate the pan like that in case that's the case. So wild game, you get that barbecue cr crisp on it. The all meat, you don't. So two minutes, then we're going to throw them on this pan. This thing is definitely not going to be at 450. It's going to be close. Climbing. Two minutes at 450. And then take them out and you let them rest for a bit? Yeah, a little bit. Let them rest for like five minutes. You're good to go. All righty. Go ahead and take these bad boys off. All right, on to there. Woo. It's fire. 
How's that up? 365. We'll wait a couple minutes. It's all right. Yeah, well, let, let them just chill for a second. It, it, ideally, you need to have your oven. I didn't realize this thing would take six here. So we'll let it get up to temp and then toss them in. Lucy, you excited? You excited? We didn't bring you today. We should have brought her. It was a perfect, perfect situation. Said I went swimming, Banjo went swimming. It was a good day. Next time we go to the beaver dam, we're bringing Lucy. All right, let's take the teal off. We're gonna leave the gaddy for a bit. Didn't quite a little bigger boy. Yeah, it's a little bigger boy right there. Let's throw that guy in for another minute. These little guys, I assume are doing all right. We're gonna go ahead and just wrap them in their little blanket here. Keep the juices sealed in, freshness sealed in. Let them rest, we'll be good. And just look right, Banjo. Ooh, these look good. Are we supposed to put them on fat side Ooh, down or does it matter? No, I always put fat side up for that. That looks really good. Mini steaks. All right, we're gonna let them cool off. Boom, give her the old flip. That way the juices that leaked out leak back up on top. Unroll your little Chipotle burrito you made. Oh my goodness, Banjo. That looks amazing. Oh, snap. Mmm. We really, really kept, um, I guess the burnt I, ones. Yeah, yeah, it's the burnt ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's wild. Here, flip them over, I can tell you. Those, okay, these are all all meat. What's this guy? All meat. That's wild game, wild game, wild game. See how that burnt yeah. on it? Maybe it's like a little sugar on it. I know it happens to sugar. Heat it up, it'll yeah. like kind of burn and caramelize a little bit. I'm gonna cut this in half and just make sure we're not about to die. Same beauty. That's an amazing. absolute beauty. That's, that's good that's stuff. That's what you want duck to be. Okay, we're gonna go for big bird. Did we? Oh, we crushed, son. Oh, yeah. Crushed. Told you that 422. Oh, all about the 422, he says. You go ahead and cut these. Dude, these yeah. talk about perfection. Look at that. All right. We're just going to go ahead and cut these up. My mouth is watering. I can already tell this is about to be. In. This is about to be delicious. Okay, so I'm cutting up all the wild game first. Okay. All right. I'm going teal first. Yo. You still can't smell, huh? <laughs> I don't have Corona. I used to have got Rona. I don't. Oh God, yeah. Mm-hmm. That was delicious. That fat gives it that mm -hmm. extra flavor. Mm-hmm. A little bit of game. Not bad though. Honestly, I don't taste a lot of the wild game though. I did a little on the fat side, but that was really. Bad. So you're going after Big Daddy, huh? Yep. Okay, so this is the Big Daddy piece right here. Look at the juices though. That's just moist. Miller, what do you think? Daddy. That was really good. Better. No game. Mm -mm. The teal I had a little bit game in mind. Yeah. Interesting. The gaddy was way better. Yeah. Surprisingly. The teal I had that, that normal kind of game. I wonder if it's because they have more fat and the fat like renders down more on the bigger ducks. Maybe. Because teal doesn't have much fat. If you really wanted these to be perfect, you'd throw them in salt water for a couple days. But I mean, it doesn't taste bad the way it is. Those are really good. That gaddy was really good. Like that was, the gaddy was much better, I think, than the teal. At least my piece. Okay, I'm going gaddy on this guy. I was going to do too. Mm. Oh, it's hot. Mm. Okay. Mmm. You know what? I'm gonna tell you the same thing. All meat. This is better. It's it's the there's more of a saltiness yep. to it. I think the wild game got kind of cooked out cooked of it. Cooked out of it, burnt. And out maybe of it. maybe you need to like really put it on. But that's mm. not even that's a no brainer. Yeah. No brainer. That all meat one. That garlic in there, mm -hmm. no brainer. It's mm. salty. It's has salt, garlic. I think the wild game got burnt out or cooked out. You got, like the wild game tastes like just straight yeah. meat. It really didn't have there a lot no of season. There was no game. Even in that teal, there's no, no game. That fat just absorbs mm -hmm. all that flavor. That was pull just, I, You got to yeah. Try pull this. just pull just got to get in on this and do what he thinks. What are you going for first? Uh, whatever this guy is. That'd be the wild game. Okay. And I think that was a gaddy. I think that's a big chunk. Any game or no? Mm mm. Really? Okay. But there's also no seasoning. Taste. No seasoning. Mm. I wonder if it's like a post, like take it off and, and like, you know, like right now, mm. well, here, here, this will answer your question. What if we just, what if we gave it one of these guys? Now that's gas. Really? That is better, Banjo. Really? I cha I'm changing it. I'm changing it. That is gas. It has to be a post season. That's Ooh. it, dude. That's it. Ooh, that's the way you do it. it. It's post. Mm-hmm. Here's what I'm thinking. What if you did pre and then post? So you get the salt and the garlic and then oh. the, cause this, it, it has sugar. It's got a little well, sweet flavor Give it to a it. try. We might, be, we might be breaking ground here, making history. So this is already has the all meat. I'll we'll try a regular one also. So what do you think about that? I uh, just the base, like no base, extra. Yeah. All meat. Base. All meat. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is pre cook all meat, post cook wild game. This might be the game changer. Too much. 
Really? <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Like you put too much wild game on it, or just too much in general? I think you can try it. I had a, I, I double sided it. Maybe just try one side. Yeah, give that a try. I went, I went too heavy. Is it too much, or is mm. that just about just a little spritz is enough? I just did a little bit. Yeah, and that's pretty good. good. Mm -hmm. So I think to make this perfect, the absolute perfect concoction, we're gonna have Banjo be the judge of this. Is season it well with all meat and lightly dust it with wild game because i i went heavy on the wild game and yeah. it was just you lose it, was it wasn't bad but you lose the flavor of the meat mm -hmm. it, it just tasted like yeah. season all right banjo this is this is what we're gonna do here so here's your piece okay just, just already has little, all meat a little dusty we're gonna go dusting now give that a shot and tell me what you think mm -hmm. that's the combo you can taste that way more. Yeah, that's the mm -hmm. combo. That's the dub. You gotta have both, I think. Oh wow. I'm going this is the this is the final piece. Light that's amazing. light dusting. Here we go. Dub. Hundred percent. That's amazing. it. Amazing. That's it. It beats all meat, only all meat, and it beats only wild game. Combo it up. Guys, try this on steak. Go take it out. Whatever meat you've got in your fridge, your freezer. I'm telling you. Throw some of this on it, do what we did with the old 422, and then even just take your steak off the grill and just give it a light dusting of this stuff. That's gonna make it taste better. So, I think we've been doing it all wrong. We've been trying to compare them. We should have combined them this whole time. What did I say before? I said if you combine them, yeah, you'd you be did You did that. call that. Did Dang. I not call that? It's like I'm freaking Raven or something. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. That's a Raven? I, mean, I, I, I got the Okay, so sure. anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Remember, link down below. Go get the new old school hoodie for 48 hours, as well as all the other Ducks cold gear. Um, that would be coats, thermal vests, hoodies, thermal pants, all that stuff will be linked down below. And make sure you use promo code FLAIR to get 10% off your entire purchase. We've got calls on there. And last but not least, these two beauties. Try them both out. I'm telling you, that one-two combo changed the absolute game. Thank you guys so much for watching, and peace.